to my channel yeah i know it's been a while i've <laughs> been busy with, you know kids through this lockdown so today i'm going to be making nigerian meat pie so it's my own recipe <laughs> so yeah i've got in this um bowl i've got um 700 grams of flour so i'm gonna mix up the dry ingredients first i've got in here i've got two tablespoons of um, sugar a tablespoon of salt and one teaspoon of baking powder so i'm just gonna put that in and mix it together you can use a fork to mix it together but as i said i just like using my hands so yeah if you don't like me using my hands i don't know you can use your hand you can use a spoon you can use a spatula use whatever you like it's all good whatever whatever suits you so yeah that's all mixing now so in here i've got 400 grams of cold butter you can use baking butter you can use um no more butter it's fine so yeah i've just cut it off in small portions so i can easily mix it in and incorporate it cold butter straight from the fridge so that's gonna give that um Creamy texture. So just mix that in with your fingers until you get like a like a crumbly texture. And then you know when we get to the right texture we're looking for. So in the mean meantime, how have you guys been during this uh, lockdown? But the lockdown is all over. We've been praying, we're fasting and praying, and God has answered all our prayers. So virus is dead so believe it that's the word for this month welcome to the month of may by the way today is the second of may so yeah so just keep mixing that You can't use um, a spoon for this. You can't use it because you won't really get the texture you're looking for. So yeah, you have to use your hand. Get stuck in there. Make sure the butter is incorporated in there. That's it. We're getting there. Okay. You get the texture of like um, breadcrumbs actually. dig deep under so there's no flour that's not coated with the butter so all everything should have this texture that grainy texture in there so yeah dig deep under to bring up any hidden flour that's not been coated with the butter so yeah that's the texture we're looking for all grainy so the next step, dig a well in there. Dig a well in there. We've got three, um, three eggs. So I'm gonna beat that up. Three whole eggs. Three or four eggs. Beat that up. We've dug a well in there, so we're just gonna pour that in right in the middle. Mm -hmm. So at this stage, you might want to mix it up with um with this or a spoon, a spatula. But yeah, I think I'm gonna mix it in with this first, and then when the egg is all in there, then I go in with my hands. Because yeah, I know some people can egg can be quite you know. I don't want to use the word, so let's yeah, just put it there. <laughs> okay, so I think that's fairly in there now. 
so I'm going to use my hands. Try not to overwork it and then um, it's better if I just use my hand. I'm just going to wipe this off and get all the back in there. Okay, just going to use my hand. incorporated in there so the texture will go in for is like um not too soft so like um um I, I won't say mashed potato <laughs> it depends on how you want you want your mashed potato or if you are from Africa or Nigeria like pounded yam tester <laughs> yeah so mix that in nicely, see, the flour is all gone, um, the stickiness is all gone, not the flour, so the stickiness is all gone, so, so yeah, the texture we're looking for, if you find that your um, your dough is a little on the thicker side, like it's harder than this. I've got, um, I had um, cold water in here, so you can add a little bit of cold water, but I don't think I'm going to need that cold water because I've got the texture that I'm looking for, or rather the consistency I'm looking for. So, yeah, so while that is going, yes. Just gonna leave that in there. Find your, um, supposed to cover it with a cling film. Well, I just realized I'm out of cling film, so I'm just gonna cover it with a. Uh, I'm gonna cover it with a. Um, yeah, I'm gonna cover it with floor paper. Yeah, it's just a bit more. Yes, I'm gonna cover it with floor paper, and I'm gonna stick that in the fridge for 30 minutes. Don't forget to subscribe. Before well, you put in the onion, I already have the oil on the, on the fire, by the way. I'm going to that down. Get it now. Whatever texture you like, I really don't like fresh onions, so I like to cook it down a lot. So let leave that, let that side out, let that cool down a bit. My list of ingredients I didn't even bother to mention the oil. <laughs> obviously, obviously you need oil to add the stuff. So you need oil, you need salt and and you need your seasoning. So it depends if you want seasoning. If you don't want seasoning, if you just want salt, so that's left for you. So yeah, the onions is fried down a bit now, just the way I like it. Then I go in with the squash bonnet pepper. Yeah, so that's gonna add a little bit of spice or sort of spice to, to the mix. If you don't want it spicy, you can just keep that set. You don't have to use it, but that's just a matter of preference. I like this so Yeah, whatever you like. If you don't want any spice, don't add anything to it. Just keep the the pepper. There and just go and 
in the next one. So this is mine. Yeah, and then you go in with the. I'm just gonna turn this round. Uh oh. Yeah, that's great. But I've just put in the. <laughs> That is great. Mm -hmm. I should have taken that out of the packaging before I did that, didn't I? Well, it's all good. It's all good. We're in the kitchen. It happens every time. We need to start to add something. I can easily take it off just to keep the tape off. So, just plug that in. You can use whatever you like if you want a um, socket main. You want lamb, you want this, you want pork, use whatever you like. <laughs> so, yeah. I like even this the big one. So, so I'm just going to turn that mat heat a little bit. I'm going to break this in. You can use frozen one as well, if you've got frozen minced meat, you can use it as well, but I just like using the fresh one. So if you've got frozen minced meat in your freezer and you're wondering if you can use that, yeah, of course, why not? Go for it. And then I've got 500 grams of mince meat, which I'm going to, which obviously is going to be the main video, the meat, meat for the meat part. So yeah, so let's start by making the filling. Check on this now. So just use your hand to press the, see that. Yeah, don't mind my nails. It's fine. I'm going to fix it. Um, so yeah, that means the, it's cooked. And then try the carrot as well. So it's not crunchy. Slightly crunchy, but it's not that crunchy. It's cooked, but it's a little bit hard. But it's perfect because the meat pie is still gonna go in the oven, which means um, you're gonna cook in cook down further. So yeah, I know it's it's watery. You might think, oh, you're not gonna put it in the meat pie like that. So to get that down, you put um, I'm gonna put um, flour. Use all purpose flour by the way. I don't know, I don't think I specified that. Not safe raising flour, all purpose flour. So I've got um tablespoon of um flour. And just put that in because that's gonna thicken it down. At this point, just turn off the gas, turn off the heat and take it off. Take it off the Okay, I let it cool down. See, that's even, that's taking it down already. And if, that's my daughter in the background, by the way, if you're wondering. <laughs> so, yeah. So, we're just going to leave that the down. Leave it, let it cool down. See? See, it was watered a minute ago. See, it's, it's thickening already. So, when that cools down... So I'm gonna get a bit more thicker than it is now. So just leave that, let, let that cool down. So while that is cooling down, you're just gonna wait for that to cool down actually before I start rolling up and making the meat pie. So guys, we're back. It's been yeah, a bit more than half an hour. It doesn't matter because the minimum time you're supposed to leave it in the fridge is 30 minutes, so you can leave it longer than that if you want. So now we want to. I'm going to start with the process of making the meat pie. So I'm going to lightly flour my wok top so the dough doesn't stick to the wok top. That's what the flour is meant for. So I've got my dough here looking nice and glistening. So I'm going to cut it in portion actually, let's see, I'm going to cut it into, so 
ill. Put my got my rolly pins. So I'm gonna roll that out. Tabletop is clean and it, the counter is clean, so don't worry about that. Clean that before. So, yeah, roll that out. You can roll it out as thick as you want or as thin as you want. So, um, use this to cut. If you got a meat pie cutter, whatever, you can use that one. I don't have that, so I'm gonna use my plate <laughs> so I've got that um, and spoonful of the filling that has cooled down completely now don't fill it too much so you can easily hold that down and then you need the fork to press the edges like so. Like so. So yeah. So yeah, that's the first one ready. It's gone on to the next one. Keep doing that until yeah, you're now all the meat pie is ready. So what I'm gonna do is to pull a um, fork through. So um, when it's in the oven, it can escape. So just do that. Yeah, they're all different shape and sizes, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be that perfect, but I'm not selling it. I'm going to eat it, so. So, just make an egg wash, one whole egg. So we're just gonna egg wash that just to give it that golden color when it's all ready. Yeah, the kids are saying that's enough. Can you get off the get off the video now? So just gonna just like so. mention before this make sure you preheat your oven before you put before the meat pie is ready you can put it um 175 degrees because that's what I'm gonna use in baking the meat pie So that's ready. That's gonna go in the oven. We preheat it for. Yeah. Now the meat pie is out of the oven. It's so hot. It looks delicious. This is just the way I like it. Golden brown. If you don't want this, 
if you don't want yours this brown you don't have to leave it for that long so just keep checking it to get the golden color that you want or that's good that yeah you want basically so i'm just gonna cut one open this is supposed to be the tester Woo! moment of true it looks delicious oh look at that pastry so crumbly look at that look at that it's all meaty just the way we like it oh it's hot mm. Mm -mm. why do you have to buy meat pie when you can make that yourself you wash that down with a bottle of Nigerian Coke. Not just not can Coke, Nigerian Coke, the one in the bottle. Oh my goodness. Bro, when I so nice outside. Oh, you can have it with a glass of wine if you want to, but or juice, but the best Nigerian Coke or Fanta. Oh my goodness. Oh mm-mm mm-mm. Mm -mm. I can't even talk, excuse me. Try this recipe and let me know when you do. So please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button if you if you enjoyed this video. Hit the like button. Comment down below if you have any um, recipes or any food ideas you want me to try. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Maydelis Connor. My handle on Instagram. And thank you very much. Once again, have a lovely weekend. Bye for now. Love you, but Jesus loves you more. Bye. Please don't forget to subscribe.